What the dog doing? <laughs> Sorry about that. I I feel like I look a little bit funny today. What's up? My name's Johnny Wick. You know who I am. You know what I'm all about today. I'm going to show you some really epic mods in Bone Labs, and it's going to be the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life, right? You might as well like the video, subscribe, send me all your money right now. We got a mini gun mod installed. I also want to show you this physics rope where you can do some crazy things with some crazy people like myself. Yeah! My hacker friend has hacked into the system and he's told me all these people right here are not even subscribed yet. What are you doing with your life, guys? Subscribe right now. I'm going to show you some crazy stuff. Ow! Okay, so here we are. What's up, Mo? Here we are in my hotel room. This is where I'm staying for a couple of days while I'm doing a couple of assassinations on the side here. Mo is just in the kitchen cooking me my favourite gelato and pizza. It's a nice combo. Mo, I might need your help in a little second, mate. Okay, so first of all, let's test out the physics ropes. I've got a nice high ceiling here, so it'll be perfect for this. Okay, so first of all, um, I think we might need to attach this one. Here's the noose. Perfect little noose right here. I sometimes like just swinging it round and trying to catch Mo with it like it's some sort of cattle in a western. Look at this. Almost over your head there, Mo. Here we go! Oh, yeah, perfect. I'll just yank him. Yank him around the place with it. Put that on you for now. Wear it like a necklace, Mo. And this one over here, this is the military rope. As you can see, I've attached it to my high ceiling here because I like to do a lot of exercises before I go do my assassination. Bruh. Oh, it's I fell down. So you didn't attach it very well. You're supposed to screw that up there. <laughs> Idiot. I've got battling with a joint snake. Look out, Mo. It's going to bite you, bruv. Okay, Mo. Back off out the way or I'm going to show you exactly how physically fit I am. So there we go. We've got the battle rope right up there. I'm now going to jump up it in record time like a fireman. And then just slide down. Bear my fingers a little bit, but that's all good. Okay, so do, Mo, do you want to uh, help us test out the, the noose now? Oh, hey! I told you to do it, Mo. As you can see, Mo's fashioning the noose very well here. Perfect in the elevator. Um, let's just tr test out the chain while we're here. There's a chain mod as well. Now yeah, that's big. What I like to do is I like to hang Mo the elevator there by the noose, and now I just like whip him with chains and that. Jesus. I think I got this one from the Titanic back in the day. <laughs> that, Mo. <laughs> yeah. Look at Mo, he's loving it. Now, just to make sure Mo's not suffering too much, quick put him out his misery here. This one's only an average of 1,000 RPM. The one we're going to do next is going to be 3,000 RPM. It's going to be out of control. Okay, Mo, sorry about this. Go on, dance, Mo. Dance, bruv. Rest in peace, Mo. I wonder how elastic these things are. Woo! Come on, Mo. Oh, yeah, Mo's loving life. I can do pull-ups on Mo's leg. Okay, here we are in the nothingness of space where I normally come to get my groceries in the morning. As you can see, we've got a ton of NPCs in here. You mother -bruh. Okay, thanks for that. Gonna have to bleep that out now, mate. Have we got Ford? Good old-fashioned Ford. It's been a while. Mwah. Give him a little kiss. More Fords we got. What's your problem? What's my problem? You should be in my elevator right now being ang. Okay, so here it is. This is the 3000 RPM. Three times as fast as the other one in my house. I've been yet to use this, guys, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Hi, right, guys. You are all now going to be part of a great experiment. Can everyone look my way so we can get your faces, so we can contact your families afterwards, please? Oi, right. right. turn around, idiot. Oh, you don't take back talk. Jesus! <laughs> As you can see, this thing's so powerful, it pushed me like 20 feet back. Absolutely amazing. Let's go in and have a look at the damage. Mo, yet again, is still alive from this. This woman, still in one piece. Ah! Kind of. Mo, still alive, as always. I think Mo may be like the new Deadpool or something. How are you surviving all of this? Oh, he says he's got adamantium in his skin or something. Okay, we're now going to sell up a thousand Fords outside and see what the minigun does to him. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sure it won't lag out my PC and blow up my entire apartment. Okay, here we have an army of Fords. As you can see, it's being delightful to my frame rate right now. We have like, I'd say, what have we got here? About 100 Fords? Fords. How many of you are there? I forgot Ford can't count. There's enough to blow up my PC, that's for sure. Ready, Ford? Hey, what? 
happened? What a massacre. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh god. Look at the the bodies are stacked up, guys. This is absolutely unbelievable work by the minigun. Well, there we go, folks. That's what happens when a hundred or so forwards uh, tell me what I can and can't do with my content. <laughs> this happened. All right, guys, I'm going to have to put the GoPro on my head for this bit. So here we are, guys, in my safe space. As you can see, we're going to test a little bit more with the noose mod right now. Just to see how things are going. Uh, we've got a special contestant, Fabulous. Okay, we're going to call this guy Fabulous. Fabulous, nice to meet you, mate. We're going to test out some nooses for, with you today, if that's all right. No, don't do it. He doesn't seem very keen with that. Never mind. All right, if you just want to step on this stool here. Now, the thing with this noose is you can't seem to tighten it very well around their neck. Um, we're going to attach his throat to it. <laughs> There we go, round your neck, bruv. Attach him like this. He's fine, absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about, bruv. Okay, as you can see, he's hanging nicely by his face. <laughs> hanging nicely by his face. Now, I do like sometimes this situation to just kick the chair out from under him. But it's, it's perfectly fine if you, you don't want to do that, guys. Attach to your arm there a little bit, mate. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, he's wriggling. That's normally what happens when someone kicks a stool out from under you and you're hanging by your neck. Okay, so now what I like to do is come over here to my little house of trick. Whacking him with stuff, really. First of all, I do play a little bit of golf so this is perfect to start off with ah! as you can hear ah huh? he said that normally means to stop ah! actually i'm tired of him flinging his arms around i'm just gonna tie his arms behind his back guys sometimes they they end up slapping you in the face and stuff trying to get away you don't want that safety first look at that that's absolutely beautiful okay this guy's hands are now clearly tied behind his back right there perfect opportunity to, before he loses consciousness show him a sledgehammer they love this put in his face a little bit be like oh, look at this oh god He's upset about this. Another thing you can do if they're a little bit hard of hearing. La la la. La la la. You're losing consciousness. La la la. Oi, do you like my singing, bro? No! You don't? You're never gonna walk again. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, as you can see right there, I broke his leg. And look, he's lost consciousness. Perfect timing, guys. So we actually gave him a little bit of pain before uh, the life drained from his little face here. Okay, next then we have Samuel. Samuel, he's still a bit delirious from the drugs I gave him. All right, Samuel, mate, how's it going? Okay, if you want to step up on this stool right under this noose, please. Seems to be a bit reluctant. Come here. <laughs> there we go. Having a brilliant time now. Uh, what we want to do is I'm going to tie his hands and his feet this time so he can't kick anywhere. If he turns, guys, turn with him. <laughs> Some sort of jujitsu tutorial. <laughs> turn with him, he'll tie himself out in oh, the end. Oh, just don't grab him by the penis. Bruh. We don't want a lawsuit on our hands now. Oh, he's escaped. He's escaping. Quick, grab something. He tries to escape, guys. Um, this does happen now and again. All right, you need to plan for it. Grab your little claw hammer here and just start hitting him in the head with it. And say surrender every time you hit him with it, too. Surrender. 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 Stop resisting. Go for his knees, guys. That's what he's going to use to try and escape. Go for the knees. He's now possessed by the demon known as Zozo. Huh? <laughs> you can see, spinning madly. Okay, that concludes the rope tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Ah!